guys, this is Versatile from VST Power, now hosted on the Money and Phoenix channel. In today's video game tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use this awesome program made by Royal Gamer 6 called the Land Launcher Version 8 for Chivalry Medieval Warfare. So really, if you go to the more info section, I have a link to the Tungle Wiki only because it's a really good starting point to get the files and get the latest MP fix and all that good stuff. And there's additional items on how to enable the console and text tutorials on how to join by IP and how to host your own dedicated server and stuff like that. So what I've done already is I have gotten the non-Steam version of this game with the 1.5 update and it also comes with the land launcher, the command launcher um, version 8.0. So let's go ahead and run the program. This is exactly what it looks like. And uh, there's different options here. So if you want to start the game, press 1. You want to join the server, press 2. Host the server, press 3. Go to the forum, read the latest news, or go to 6, the downloads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys first how to host your own dedicated server. And yes, you can do this offline, meaning no internet, no VPN gaming program, no Tungo, no Hamachi, nothing. Do this on your real land. I've tested it, and I'll show you proof of that today. So let's say you want to host your own server. How does that work? So for example, here's your different options. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to say start hosting server. So let's press 1. Here, um, you got to pick a, a map. The easiest way is, let's say I want to host a, a last team standing, right? So right click, say mark, go ahead, select the map, press the enter key, scroll down, right click, paste, press enter. It's pretty um, meticulous like that. So I got the map entered. It says, do you want to play with bots enabled? I'll say yes. Why? Enter. How many bots? Let's say three bots. Enter. It's starting the server, so momentarily you'll see another command prompt pop up in the background. And once that is done, I will go ahead and proceed to connect to it. Likewise, in my room, I have my other desktop computer, which is also hosting a server. And I'll show you later on of me connecting to that server as proof. So what I want to do is, let's say I join a server. So, oops. So this is my dedicated server is on right now. So let's go ahead and press 2, join the server. And here you have direct connect, open the server list, join your own server, open edit favorites or zero for back. So let's go ahead and join my own servers. I press three, press enter. Go ahead, here you have this nice um, logo game splash screen come up. So you wait for it to load and then momentarily we'll be in the game. I actually put the game into window mode to show you proof that yeah, this is working and this is not a BS tutorial. And momentarily I'll be in the my own server. Likewise, if I was on the LAN, if I had other family members, or other gamers here, I could say, hey, my server is up, connect to me and you can do that. Or if I'm hosting a game on Tungo or some other VPN gaming program, I could announce my IP address, let other people know I'm hosting, or they can find me in the server browser if I were to publicize that online, and they can go ahead and join my server. So you can clearly see that my game automatically connects to my own server and momentarily will be in the server. So let's go ahead and select the random team. And I apologize if it seems like it's a little bit laggy because I'm using a Camtasia Studio just to show you proof of this working um, in window mode. Okay, so let's go ahead, press escape. Let's leave the game. And technically, I could go back to the CNW version 8.0 launcher to connect to a server, but I'm going to do it the manual way to show you proof that, yeah, this does work with the console. So let's go ahead and join my other computer, which is hosting a server, and I'm going to use my internal IP address of that computer because some guys don't believe that you can do this over real land. This is real land. I'm not connected to a VPN gaming program. I could disconnect myself from the internet, meaning disconnect the, uh, the router from the from the modem and still be able to play this on my own internal land. And it's a lot of good times and a lot of fun. Okay, so we are in the game. So let's go ahead and get rid of the console by pressing the, the, the tilde key on the American keyboard. Let's go ahead and select a random team here once this thing catches up select random that's fine select the random and here we go now like I said earlier I apologize if this video seems a little bit laggy with the gameplay like I said I'm using Camtasia Studio just want to record the desktop and the windowed mode at the same time as additional proof because some guys unfortunately are a little bit skeptical of these amazing tutorials so the first objective is burn the village and kill the peasants Kill 40 peasants, burn the houses, and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and run. If you want to type, you know, press the T or press the Y key. 
you know, if I had other players in the game, they would see me typing. And that is that. And this is real proof of offline, land mode, no VPN gaming program, no online server. Yes, you can do this at a real land party. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Eat it. And have a lot of good times. If you like this type of video, please like, favorite, subscribe. Otherwise, if you have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.